Hi there. In a previous video, I acquired a domain name using Google. Now I want to get web hosting so I can have a space on the web to publish my web page. Basically, you just need access to a server to store your web page, and then you have to tell your domain registrar, in this case Google, where that website is located. So I'm over here, I'm looking at uh, 000webhost.com. It's a free web host. I just did a quick Google search and found one. And I'm going to give it a shot here. I'm um, looking at their features right now. I just want to do a quick overview. Uh, disk space, it looks like they have 1.5 gigabytes of space. Um, that's certainly reasonable. Domains allowed, unlimited. Control panel, C panel is a popular uh, web based interface for managing uh, websites. And even though it's a free service, they don't put ads or banners, so that's kind of nice. And they've got a few other tools. Website Builder, we could use that, but of course we'll be using Dreamweaver or HTML to make our websites. PHP scripts, that's kind of nice. They have PHP, MySQL databases are included. FTP support, which is good. That means you can easily upload and download files to your site using a program like FileZilla or Dreamweaver even. So a lot of nice tools in there. I'm going to go ahead and do the sign up option and I want to host my own domain. Domain must be registered already and it is. Remember I did that hikinginben.com a couple days ago in that previous video. Now if you don't have a domain they do give you the option to get a free subdomain off of this hotz.com but I've got my own so I can go ahead and type in hikinginbend.com and then I can go ahead and fill out the rest of this. I'm going to go ahead and put in my name uh, and information in Okay, I've just hit the create, a, uh, create an account option and it came up with all of these details and there's a lot of good stuff on here and this is probably worth printing out. Definitely an important thing to get right away is the name server details if, right here, only if you host your own domain. Well, I am using my own domain. I'm using that hikingandben.com domain. So getting the name server information is really critical because you have to tell your domain registrar about that information. Now it's got a few other details on here too, um, about my web address, uh, IP address, server name, FTP host name, FTP username. So all this FTP information down here, that's going to be really important when you need to connect and finally start to uploading pages. Folder to upload files in the public underscore HTML, that's absolutely, that's, that's quite normal. And they even suggest you can use Smart FTP or FileZilla, two really good programs for FTP. So, a lot of good information here, so you want to print this out. I'm going to go ahead and update my domain information with this name server information. So, ns01.000webhost.com and ns02, so forth. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my Google Apps. And I did this a couple days ago when I acquired that domain. And since I already have a domain, I can log in. I can use my hikingandbend.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Manage This Domain Settings if you've already created got the domain and I'll click go and just as a reminder this costs uh, 10 bucks a year to get a domain name through Google which uses GoDaddy and then I'll simply log in and then okay now that I'm logged into my domain management area I'll go to domain settings and I'll go to domain names and then I want to go into advanced DNS settings. Now as soon as I click on this it's going to refer me over to the interface over at GoDaddy and I've already jumped over and done that so you click on advanced DNS settings and that's going to take you over to some login information so you can go to the domain settings over here at GoDaddy and it's just got my one domain hikingandben.com it's available to me and it's already checked and there's an option right up here for name servers this is where I can get that information from the free web host or where I need to put that information from the free web host and it looks like I'll be using this third option if you're hosting your website with some other company, you have a hosting account and another provider, the free one that I'm using, then you enter the provider's name servers, you must have at least two name servers, which I do. So I'm going to host my domains with another provider and I have to put in the necessary information. I can get this over here. Um, here's one of them. Copy. Paste. And the other. Copy. Paste and then I'll simply click OK changes have been submitted please allow a few minutes for the changes to take effect alright that'll be fine okay 
So I've put that information in and it looks like my account will be ready to go. So in the next video, we'll look at accessing this account via FTP and just do a quick publish of a web page.